Oh, Tep, I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist. Back at it here again, live for you to enhance, to embrace, to give you some insight on what I'm going to be talking about today. And what we're going to be journeying into is uh, boo, 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 boo. discover how to build lean muscle mass without animal protein. Now, before I get started, I need you to do something for me. I need you to take out a pen and pad, take some notes. You know, uh, I think it, this is going to embrace a more understanding where you can actually comprehend what's actually being said, what's actually being documented, and what, you, and what actually is being presented today. So I want you to start comprehending some of the information that I'm going to be going into. Therefore, utilize a pen and pad. <laughs> pen and pad so you can utilize it to enhance your memory, enhance the concepts of thought, concepts of memory. So let's dive into it. So we're going to discover how to build lean muscle mass without animal protein. Those of you who know me, I've been a vegetarian for a long time, long time, long time. So let's get right into it. Hotep, I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist here for you. Welcome and thank you for joining me today. Those of you who are here, as we will spend 30 to 45 minutes or less together exploring, discover how to build lean muscle mass without animal protein. So let's rock and roll. Who am I? Who am I? Um, you're asking who to yourself, who's this nice looking brother from another mother that has interest in helping you become more productive, healthy, fit, and active citizen in your community? That brother comes showing up known as Haru, the modern monk, Amahan. Now you can contact me for those of you who's you know short on time. Here's my contact information. You can get me at 206-659-6382. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, please email me at you are the gym at gmail.com. That's you are the gym at gmail.com. My Facebook page is actually a private page for those who's actually taken on um, taken on the journey to further their health fitness, strength, understanding, muscle mass, and taking advantage of the opportunities that I actually present within this Facebook page that I uh, offer my coaching services and whatnot. So definitely can check us out. Those of you who are serious, um, I do have a filtering system or a profile or a qualified system, therefore, to indulge and take it to the next level. Let's keep it pushing. Who am I? Continue. So here, uh, worked in many different industries, including cannabis, health, fitness industry, as well as the music industry. For those of you who are kind of curious about my um, upbringing and whatnot, um, I've been 20 years hybrid vegetarian vegan. Um, I learned that the number one thing separating successful individuals that are aware of their fitness, their health, has effective determination, drive, and ambition, period. This is what I have noticed with those of you who are actually serious about their health and fitness. I'm a fitness coach. I'm a published author. Um, I got a few documents, uh, a few publications out there, how to take possession of your own mind, consider magazine, uh, Haru's Focus Points Awareness uh, series, um, the top five do-it-yourself home gym equipment you must have in your ultimate fitness training and a host of articles. So overview, I want to give you an overview of what I'm actually going to be going through, actually talking about and specifying on protein, how it works with you. So protein is explained. That's going to be the first step. Protein made, how it's made, how it's processed within the body. Um, we're going to journey into why animal protein is not necessary. Why animal protein is not necessary. Continued. <laughs> so we will journey why I don't eat meat. Um, advantages of avoiding animal protein, vegetarian continues, um, then we'll get to a Q&A, and as well as our conclusion, 
So let's dive into it. What you will learn from this particular platform or particular information that I'm presenting here. Um, what you will learn from this webinar, solutions on what, when, where, and why, and how to take advantage of the opportunities. We will explore proteins or protein and how it relates to the human body. I wanna help you create more awareness of the food that enters your body, not necessarily the food, but the understanding what kind of information that enters the dome or the heart per se. How you will benefit from these tips that are illustrated here in this webinar. So change, time for change, it is up to you which direction you choose. Now, I'm here to show you effective, quick, and easy steps to understanding health and fitness concepts that will benefit your lifestyle in minutes during this webinar. Also give you tips that will develop and nurture the new habits that I present to you today in this webinar. Most are here don't understand the basics of protein, how protein works um, with your body, with your mind, with your soul, how it's building blocks. And my job is to demonstrate some facts and concepts to assisting you with easy processes and solutions. My webinar goal, what is my goal here? I want to help common conscious folks like yourself to create more understanding of animal protein that enters your body, not necessarily animal protein, but plant protein as well, without having to witness the abuse of its doing to your body. <laughs> so my goal is to help also to guide you in a direction to take possession, more possession of your own mind and body. It's hard, it's definitely a challenge. It's hard to get individuals' attention to stay on course to keeping up their health and fitness. Um, it's hard to get individuals to think for themselves and show and stop allowing the government propaganda to tell you what is and who you should be. Therefore, it's hard to get individuals to take more responsibility for what goes into their minds and how to dim differentiate the facts from fiction. For those three reasons alone, this information, this great information applied in your life today is the most important investment you can make. Now in directing, the only way for you to do this is by directing your focus on what is being presented here in this webinar today. Therefore, pen and pad, Therefore, understanding, I do record these particular presentations for those to review or replay or go back and reconnect or relink to the knowledge and wisdom that is being presented here. Compelling, learning, knowledge, experience, ability, growth, training, competence, skills is what we wanna develop within this particular series of webinars that I will be presenting for the next few, uh, few weeks. Compelling information is hard to find. Most information get less than stellar results. The ones who do get amazing results, find it with those who have experienced how to use specialized knowledge and organize it to be effective. <laughs> How does this relate to you? Now, terms defined and understanding. Some terms I will not attempt <laughs> to per pronounce or articulate a little bit. I will be articulating a few things and um, terms that I will be going into a little more in depth within the series. But therefore, I just want to give you an overview of what's actually going to be uh, presented within this particular uh, platform or this webinar present presentation. We're talking about protein, animal protein, how to build muscle mass without animal protein. So we're going to be journeying into that. I'm not going to be specifying as much as food going into the food and what foods you need to add in to your body and when you're in other seminars or webinars. So secrets exposed. What is these top secrets? Number one secret, improve your ability to understand how protein works with your body. 
Secret number two, improve your weight loss or management with those habits that I'm sharing today in this webinar. Secret number three, have more energy with the next few days implementing this information here today within this webinar. Simple application, apply today, no excuses. I'm tired of the excuses. Humanity, the society within the American culture or the North American culture has been exposed to too much excuses. So stop giving yourself excuses, start taking action with the plan of action. And these are the building blocks to those actions. Why? Discover how to build your lean muscle mass without animal protein. Let's get rocking and rolling. So protein explained, protein history. Proteins are the first described by the Dutch chemist, Gerardus Johannes Mudler. The significance for protein the significance of proteins was perceived by the chemists in the mid 19th century, including a Swedish scientific expert, Jones Jacob Berzelius, who in 1838 instituted the term protein, a word from the Greek petos, signifying holding ahead of all comers. Now, <laughs> those of you who understand what protein is, the building blocks, Protein meaning it constructs, fix, and keep up the body structures. Proteins are essentials for the body that are based on amino acids, 20 to be exact. Even though some cases in some research studies have said 22 amino acid, building blocks for muscles, enzymes, blood cells, as well as hormones and immunity. In other words, it's an appetite controller, and it's a micronutrients built with access with uh, carbohydrates, healthy fats, and that also needed for the body. <laughs> so protein made. Let's get an animal protein versus plant protein, how protein is made. Proteins are comprised of amino acids, as I said in the previous slide. An individual's body needs an equalization of each of the 20 kinds of amino acids to work accurately. Plant proteins are incomplete on a physical standpoint. Animal protein has the 20 amino acids that is needed for the body when, you when you're talking a one-stop shop. Plant proteins have less amino acids when it comes to comparing, right? Regardless of whether you're an enthusiast of meat, swapping some creature protein for plant-based protein might be the advantages your well-being for the long term health, for long-term health, for longevity, my brothers and sisters. How protein is used in the body? How is it processed in the body? Protein functions have a series to-do list, a series of a to-do list from transporting, storage, and support structures for your cells. Now, transmuting messages, transmuting messages as for as your biological process within the body. Also, enzymes transported within reading your DNA, your RNA, or your mitochondria, in other words, help building blocks. This is what the protein, this is what protein actually does far as what the research have shown us currently. Antibodies that binds and helps protect the body from foreign particles, viruses, and bacteria, etc. Now, why animal protein is not necessary? Let's get let's start diving into why it's not necessary for you to use animal prote protein. Now, quality of plant protein suggests that it's a healthier alternative than meat sources of protein. Is animal protein necessary for me to able to meet? for me to be able to grow? So these are the questions I'm gonna be kind of displaying here and kind of going into a little depth, not as much, but just give you a foundation or building blocks to where you can kind of adjust and do and adapt to where you need to be and make it happen, my brothers and sisters. Here is why. Plant protein has shown to be longer lasting and healthier lifestyle choices than meat protein sources. 
Indeed, meat protein sources have every one of the 20 amino acids, yet it has appeared to have all the more deteriorating dis-ease related with eating meats. Plant protein has more fiber ingredients in healthy fats than meat. The benefit meat has is few vitamin sources that plants don't produce on their own. Vitamin B12, for example. Less cardiovascular disease and few cancer cases associated with eating meat protein sources that are more researched as being exposed. Um, meat has more saturated fats that creates high blood pressure, diabetes, etc. And we'll get a little more into that as, we're, as we will journey more into the webinar series that will go more in depth into these particular subcategories that we're talking about here today in this webinar. Carnogenic effect associated with different forms of meat, like red meats in general. Now, let's keep it pushing, my brothers and sisters. Why animal protein is not necessary continue, and how much protein do I need in my diet? Let me, I'm going to take a sip on that one. Let me take a drink. I'm not get a little patch right now. But we're going to get deeper and deeper into the category, into the presentation, into the webinar as pursued here, please. Thank you for your patience. And as we dig a little deeper, according to your training intensity and the quality of your protein intake, carbohydrates and energy level, this all equals to your nitrogen balance, the term that is used as a scientific definition that we use in the fitness industry. And this is basically according to how much intensity in your training program that you're using as on top of your carbohydrates, and the protein intake that you're taking, and the energy level that you're actually exhilarating or accessing for that particular training regimen. So I'm going to touch on three categories I will explain here. So the first category, inactive lifestyle. So I like what my brother used, Brian, Brian New, Newton. He used, he said Netflix. Now, if you're famous and you're into Netflix, or not just Netflix, but any other type of uh, viewing Hulu or, you know, and this is what you do on daily. This is where you would actually adjust and understand where you need your protein intake. So this protein intake is usually scientifically has been 0.8 grams, kilo, kilograms a day. So in pound form or grams in the English, uh, measurement system is 0.36 grams per pound per day that you need to ingest within your particular daytime regimen. Okay, so we're journeying into the next atmosphere or the next level of activity. So endurance and stamina lifestyle. Now, if you kind of like me, this is one of the stages that I've been incorporating a lifestyle that I'm very active. I work out predominantly every day, um, if not every other day. So this would be more of what my regimen is. Usually I'm a little above this um, particularly, but 1.0 to 1.6 grams, kilograms per day. That's in our colloquial English in the European measurement status. So we would break it down to what we need as Americans or North American measurement systems at 0.45 to 0.72 grams per pound per day. You feel where I'm coming from? So these are certain things and measurements where you can actually balance your ingestion of your protein intake. And We'll talk about more on carbohydrates and we'll talk about more on fat, healthy fats in another webinar series. But we won't go through it 
in this particular series because we're focusing on proteins, what protein is, how it's balanced in your body, and some debunks and some myths that I have been incorporating within my particular lifestyle. Okay, and our third category is muscle and fat management. And I'm particularly on this as well. Um, certain regiments or certain times, a period in the year, I usually take a more muscle gain or fat management, even though I'm not a big type of brother, but I've been able to manage my weight to what I've been currently at, 150, and being able to hold this weight for the period of time where I have been able to do. And basically broke it down to 1.6, to 2.0 grams, kilograms a day. And as we break it down, 72 to 0.90 grams per pound, therefore, within your daily regimen of protein intake. So let's move right along. Which lifestyle are you? That's something to think about. Which lifestyle do you incorporate within this? Some cases, it might be all three <laughs> for your week or for your month. Just think about it. It's your choice, but be more conscious or be more cognizant of what's actually going on in your life, what you're actually putting in, not just the soul. This is what it really, what I'm really displaying here with this webinar series. Protein will be high if you're working out for an example of weight management or gaining weight as well to develop that muscle mass you want to get. You definitely have to add more protein. And then this particular part we're talking about also, if you're in the calorie deficit, you know, not eating enough, eating a lot of calories, those of you who's act, actually incorporating like intermittent fasting, like I do myself, um, you usually have to take, according to what science has shown, but all our bodies are different. Let me just put that out. All our bodies are different, so we process food totally different. Some people are immune. Some people are, uh, you know, got addiction. Some people don't have addiction. Some people can't use and process certain foods. Therefore, your production and your sustainability with protein will differentiate. Differentiate. I can't even say the word, but you with me. You with me. You know what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters. Let's dig a little deeper. Why I don't eat meat and why I think you should not eat meat. Because here's some very facts that have been displayed with the research that's been going and go ongoing since the beginning of particular uh, scientific movement on what meat is doing to the body, how it's actually processing the body, and you know, the reality check. <laughs> okay, no beef, no pork, no chicken. No poetry. Okay, poor poetry. Uh, poor poor uh, poor uh, poor uh, Much love. You you bear with me. Here's one reason. Here's a few reasons. <laughs> they say here's a few. Re <laughs> here's four reasons why I don't eat meat. Period. Period. One. Health and fitness concerns. Those of you who've been knowing me, I've been a vegetarian slash vegan, a hybrid for over 20 years. And these are the concerns I've been having. A lot of family members, why I made the decision, a lot of family members was dealing with a lot of, and they're still dealing with, or working with diabetes, um, different cancers, different prostates, different issues that are coming up all of a sudden with the food we have been eating. One of the big movements that kind of got me on the, the string was, and I was just talking to my girlfriend about this, uh, uh, How to Eat to Live, Elijah Muhammad's book, How to Eat to Live. That was very implementation of taking advantage of the lifestyle, eating one meal, you know, um, making sure I'm fasting for a particular time and putting certain things in my body to clarity, the mind clarity. So two, environmental awareness. One thing, it helps out with clarifying some things within your, your, not just within you, but within your mindset to process certain environmental aspects, psychologically, um, sociologically, um, physiology, all those ologies when you think about it, emo environmentally. How are we processing with these animals and certain things that's around us to think more clear? And we'll talk about that too as well. Mental clarity, that's the next one. 
like understanding why certain things like uh, fluoride getting that stuff out your way. All this stuff is due to certain foods we're putting in our mouth, not just foods, but certain proteins too, like whey protein and all these different proteins that's coming from these animal sources that we're actually including within our body has been uh, toxifying our mindset, toxifying our thinking, toxifying, making other issues and problems. Therefore, we see it with our people, obesity. We see it with different... Um, processes diabetes high blood pressure heart clear issues okay another aspect of saving money that's one of the thing money management um saving money you buying meats and meat meat is expensive i mean keep it real with you those of you who's rich and got the money cool that i understand but a lot of people and i know this probably to be a fact you probably see a lot of people don't rich people or wealthy people really probably don't eat that much meat. They probably vet hybrids. They probably hybrids. They might eat meat every occasion, but they don't eat meat as often. Like once upon a time, we used to within the 80s, within the early 70s, well, 60s, we didn't eat a lot of meat as a culture. Um, therefore, you started having all these prostate cancers and all these different cancers recently coming about because meat been predominantly marketed period and all that other stuff <laughs> do i think i can look down on others because i eat meat i do not support this statement or have it this is a lifestyle choice and i'm very clear on the results that i have witnessed in my life so this is something for you to comprehend too even if you don't eat meat or if you do eat meat i'm not here to demonize you i'm just pointing some facts out you know, I mean, it goes both ways. This could be a, this is a very debatable type subject when we're talking about veganism, vegetarianism, meatism, however you want to look at it, paleo diet, yada, 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 all these different diets that you incorporate. Like I said before, diets are so overrated. When you're on these diets, you're not able to stick to anything because you're not making it a lifestyle. That's further do. If I don't eat animal products, where do I get my source of protein? This has been a question. Ooh, nuts. Ooh, uh, my lovely eggs. So advantages avoiding animal protein. So types of benefits of veganism, vegetarianism. There is a difference between vegans and vegetarians. We'll display a few of them here. Vegans, totally vegetarians, do not eat meat, poultry, fish, or any products derived derived from animals, including eggs, dairy products, and gelatin. Um, Lacto-vegetarians do not eat meat, poultry, pork, I can't even say the word, but you know where I'm coming from, fish, but do not eat eggs or dairy products. Um, Lactose-vegetarians eat no meat, poultry, fish, or eggs, but do consume dairy products. Um, Octave veg uh, vegetarians eat no meat, poultry, fish, dairy products, but do eat eggs. I'm on that level. That's where I kind of rely on. Um, uh, partial, partial vegetarians avoid meat, but may eat fish. Um, pesto vegetarian, pesterian, or poetry polo vegetarian. Now, <laughs> like I said before, in some terms, I'm kind of like, what? are they trying to say and i want to build a understanding that some words i'm just not uh comprehending some words i'm not translating some words are kind of foreign to me to an extent because like i said i'm a hybrid type of vegetarian vegan i add both it's seasonal with me not just with me but those it's i'm sure it's a lot of people out there who does the same type of regimen because all of us are different we definitely process food different eggs we process some people don't like eggs you know what i'm saying so it's different mentality when it comes to that so the benefits here's some of the benefits management of weight lower blood sugar levels improves kidney function, protects against certain cancers, low risk heart disease, mental clearness, clarity as I spoke on before, and much more benefits. So vegetarian continues. Is it being a vegetar vegetarian hard? Vegan hard? What is 
good about being a vegetarian, how much it costs to be a vegetarian. Now, see, a lot of us, you know, I think we're intimidated or afraid of, okay, if I don't have my meat, where am I going to get my protein? Or if I don't have my meat, can I be able to keep this weight up? Uh, <laughs> or do I look like a skinny brother or a skinny sister and I look like I don't have malnutrition and all these other myths that we have been taught? Look, when I started vegetarianism, when I started veganism, they didn't really have that much information available for veganism, for vegetarianism. Most of the publications that were written on these particular subject matters were based on Indian uh, uh Indian knowledge. My brothers in India and Dubai, not Dubai, um, now I can't even say, that. yeah, Dubai. Dubai in certain areas like that, uh, well, that ain't even India. Forgive me for those of you who are watching it. <laughs> but those particular areas in India where a lot of that knowledge was available to the common right, those who's actually indulge or did research in ve veganism or vegetarianism. They usually say it's a cult or following a certain cult, a lifestyle, boom, boom, boom. Vegetarian, you couldn't, a veganism, you didn't have leather and all these other crazy stuff and incorporate that. I'm not going to get into all that, but these are some things. Vegetarianism, I think, is very affordable. A lot of people think, oh, they cost too much and all this other stuff. And we're going to get into that a little bit more within the webinars as I get more deeper and deeper within the webinars and subcategories within these particular subject matters. Can vegetarian diets lead to some lack of nutritional deficiencies in lifestyle choices? Yes, they can be. It's many deficiencies. Lack of vitamin B12, vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, and omega-6s, and 9s, and all that other fun stuff. Um, zinc, iron, lack of protein sources, concepts, ideas, foods in general. Creatine, iodine. Um, does vegetarian or vegan diet make you thin or fat sometimes? This is a very uh, debatable subject matter, too, because when you first get into it, a lot of us, when you first get into veganism and vegetarianism, you don't know, you really don't know what the measurements to take. You kind of see what I'm saying? And that's the point of this webinar series to kind of give you a, a platform or a foundation to where you need to start looking into or journeying into or doing the research to actually build a foundation for veganism, vegetarianism, or why I kind of exploit, stop eating meat. This is what it's doing to you. <laughs> Do vegetarians get enough healthy fats? That's another aspect, you know, including avocados more into your diet. You know, and a lot of people don't like avocados. I can get it. I understand. But you can put it in your smoothies. You can add it into your, your salads. You can add it into certain um, food combinations when you're talking about your daily regimen. Not necessarily daily regimen, because I'm not a really big advocate of daily ingredients, like having kale every day. I think that's a little archaic. I think it's not as a healthy ingredient because you don't do anything, something every day besides maybe brush your teeth and, you know, body, you know, regiments, taking care of your body, certain things you do. I mean, you obviously eat every day for those of you who are disciplined, but then you sometimes, you got to fast, you got to keep the body clear, you got to keep things more clarity so you can kind of adjust and adapt to what needs to be done to take care of your body so your body can detox on a daily basis, on an everyday basis, or a monthly basis, or a yearly basis. Okay, eating organic versus non-organic. Now, we will get in this subject a little later on in our seminar um, seminars later on in the mix. But at the same time, we'll talk about GMOs versus non-GMOs, what type of foods, instead of messing with packaging foods, what other alternatives you can utilize and take care. And we'll go into that later on in the future webinars. But at this time, we'll focus on protein, animal protein, as well as plant protein, my brothers and sisters. So the tips. Now, to conclude that mentality, 
of some of the proteins of what come up. Like I said, it's going to be 30 minutes, kind of short, sweet, to the point. You know, the tips that will help you start out. The solution at a time. Take one solution at a time um, to the problems that you face. And you, you're not on your own. You don't have to be on your own. That's why I'm here. You feel me? That's why I'm here. I'm here for you. If you got questions, if you got things that you have concerns about, I'm here. That's the whole point of supplying the demand that you're looking for. Certain particular topics, who this work for? This work for people who don't have an idea to what protein do for the body and how to use it in the body. Here is what education and how it works and what can be done about it right here, right now in this particular platform. Be accountable for your actions and face the responsibilities. Reflect on where you are and what you need and work on a plan of action. I'm here to help you with that plan of action. Order and chaos. Q&A for those of you who are on the Q&As. Okay, open for Q&As. Time for change. It is up to you which direction you choose. Now, those of you who have questions, you can always reach me at youarethegym at gmail.com. Youarethegym at gmail.com. I'm here for you. I'm here to solidify, to give you an opportunity to take care of them questions and answers that you may need. And if I don't know that question, I will seek and research and get you an answer. Guarantee that. I don't claim I know everything. You know what I'm saying? I want to do these short webinars to give you some insight, give you a foundation, a building block. That's what proteins is about. It's a building block to build the mind, the body, the soul, the togetherness moving forward. Now, I offer to you, here's what you're going to get. You might be thinking, you can't get started because you have a hard time processing this information that is given by an expert that has laid it out simply and efficiently and very to the point, <laughs> period. You are the Gym Club Academy. Just started a new private page for those of you who are serious. The age range is from 25 to 55. Those who want to take advantage of your lifestyle, want to make it a lifestyle. I offer my service within this particular platform, Facebook private page. Yes, it has a cost associated with it. And yes, it has a qualified qualification questionnaire and to-do list. <laughs> For those of you who are serious, about your eating, about your healthy lifestyle planning, your healthy fitness planning. What am I going to do with my workouts? How am I going to work out? What am I going to incorporate? What am I going to eat? This is what I supply. This is what I give. How to build the muscle mass. How to get solid. How to get solid on your plan of action. Not just that but motivation, about finances, about inspiration, about building the true you. That's what we're here for. That's what Haru, the modern monk, is about. I offer as well solutions for proteins today. I, look, I even got resources for better protein intake for you to take advantage of it to, for you today by joining not necessarily, I got two platforms. By joining my You Are The Gym free platform Facebook page and the private Facebook page, and for those of you who are serious, who want to take on the new 2019 aspect of your life to becoming. There are principles to relate it to your lifestyle. Please take more responsibility in your daily actions. The number one nutritional fact, diets fail. What you need is a lifestyle change. Let me help you. You feel me? Let me help you take your expertise with my expertise to the next level. Because I can do that for you. 
if you allow me, if you listen, if you engage, if you take action today. Here's my free weight loss secrets revealed right here, right now. All you need to do is take advantage and email me at youarethegym at gmail.com and book your discovery session today. I will send you the PDF slash audio version of Weight Loss Secrets Revealed. And these are the aspects. So let's recap. The goal, the process. What did I explain within this particular platform, short and sweet? You feel me? Protein explain. Protein made. Why animal protein is not necessary. Why animal protein is not necessary. Continue. <laughs> Why I don't eat it meat. Advantages of avoiding animal protein, as well as vegetarian continues. Q&A, as well as conclusion. Now, resources. Here's a few resources that you can go to that I explained a little bit within this particular platform. But these are some sources that can give you a more fewer view, a fuller view of what I was kind of engaging or building blocks for you to move forward within your particular regiment. Like I said, you can reach me and you can connect with me as we keep this series going, as I will be covering in my next webinar series, Gut Health. Join me, save the date, take your time right now on your pen and pad to write this date down. Saturday, January 19th, 19, uh oh, that brother said 1925. 2019, 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, those of you on the Pacific, 12 o'clock, those of you in the Mid-Pacific, Midwest, <laughs> that'd be 2 o'clock, those of you on the East Coast, that'd be 3 o'clock. So bear with me. Come and join me. Come add some value, as I will add more value to the game of health and fitness and lifestyle. Oh, <laughs> so thank you for your time and patience. Book your discovery session today. That is my contact information. Haru Modern Monk. Phone me. Call me. 206-659-6382. Email me. You are the gym at gmail.com. Private Facebook page at you are the gym. Club Academy. Those of you who just want to be involved and see what I'm actually presenting and giving, I will be giving free information. The webinars are free. They're there for you at my You Are The Gym Facebook public page. So therefore, thank you for the patience and understanding. I am out. Peace. Oh, tip many times to come. Appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm out.